Howdy, y'all. We uh, out here trying to make a little money. Just got off work, didn't have anything to do tonight, so we're just waiting on it to get busy because we don't have any scheduled time. Well, it did let us schedule 7 to 9.30, so we do yeah. have scheduled time, yeah. technically. And we have some exciting news. <laughs> What's exciting news? So we decided to start a new series on this channel. It's going to be dashing until we can afford blank. There'll be different things. It might be activities. It might be something for the house. It might be who knows what. But we're going to have a goal and work towards that goal. And once we achieve it, get the money to do what we want to do, we'll have a video about that. What are we accomplishing first? Dashing until we can afford dinner at Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse. Hey. We need a beef welly. Yeah. Never had one. Always wanted to try one. Yeah, it's at a casino. I think it's in New Albany, maybe. But we looked at the menu, and with what we want to order, plus, you know, tip and probably some casino money, we're looking at five hundy. So, yep. that's the goal. Five hundy. Here we come. Woo! Should take us a minute, but I'm ready for a casino night, a beef welly. We can't tell them everything we're ordering. Yeah. But it's going to be awesome. It's going to be cool. And if you have any ideas for us, let us know. Get ready, guys. <laughs> we might be dashing more. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be motivation to get out and dash more. Make more videos for you. And it'd be nice to be able to afford some a nice dinner and yeah, all that. So Just work our way towards it. So we're going to sit here and wait until it gets busy. Got Uber running, so we'll see if it brings out anything to you. But we'll... Uh, Holler back at you here when we get in. Well, y'all, we uh, were sitting around waiting for it to get busy. We scheduled that time at 7, but it got busy about 6.35, so we went ahead and smacked that little dash now button, and we in. We in, and already we declining. Yeah, they threw us a couple offers to get our uh, declining fingers warmed up. Yeah, we got a no-tip Chick-fil-A. No way. And then another one that was crazy two pickups that were on total opposite ends of town and then driving way out of town for the drop off so <laughs> you had to add at least five miles to that to get back to town so yep, that was one of the oh gosh worst here's another same. bad one we got 875 for 7.2 miles two pickups two drop offs i don't think and it's so casey's that's taking us to uh, edinburgh one. Yeah, taking us to Edinburgh, so this is also another double mile situation. Yeah. We're down to 30% acceptance, guys. Yeah, you just can't take those. It's, don't you make can't make sense. no money. Yeah, we was driving around getting footage since it wasn't busy. The Uber will slap us something out every now and then, even though we're way outside of town. Yeah, this sunset is pretty. Get that sunset footage. It's cotton candy. I'd like to get one that's very high dollars, very low miles. Yeah, we're trying to get our acceptance rate up, but you see these offers, I mean, they make it very difficult. Yeah, they do. See when we get a good one. We've been driving around, getting low ball offer after low ball offer, batting them off left and right, but we just got a terrible one shipped through, and it's, oh, good Lord, I don't know who they think we are, but it's five dollars and 25 cents for 18.9 miles so essentially what's that 38 miles ish when you have to come back to town hey, would you all take that yeah that is ridiculous like are you serious mm -hmm. like is that ice cream still gonna be good 30 minutes from now because that's how long it's gonna take you to get it there 
Yeah, no, that's all the way in Edinburgh, too. Yeah, that's so this is an zone. hour's work for $5.25. Literally, an hour's work. Oh, new delivery. Go to Panda. Let's see. 11 bucks for 5.9 miles. That's more well, like it. We it's can probably handle that. Yeah. Let me see. But it's Panda. So, Panda, eight items. Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Hold the phone. God. Any drinks? Uh, lots of drinks. Lots of drinks. Oh, how busy is it? Does it look bad? It don't look bad. Oh man. So, we're here. And now we just got an Uber. Thirteen bucks for seven miles. Dairy Queen. Either I don't think streets. we can make it work. Uh -uh. But that one's better if we can drop the DoorDash. Let's just do it. We're here. Okay. Well, we're here, y'all. Panda Express. Let's see how the crew is tonight. All right, y'all. I'm gonna take my keys out of my pocket. All right, thank you, sir. You have a good one. Well, y'all, we got that panda picked up. wasn't too bad. It was already ready. Dang it. And. Uh, is going haywire. We got to turn, turn them down quick. And a lot of these are ones that we would take, but yeah. we already got this, and I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble with the DoorDash gods. And we got about a six mile drive, not quite six, it was like 5.7, 13 minutes to get to the customer. So it's taking us to the other side of town, so not too bad. There's options for orders over there. And if you didn't know, we're dashing on a Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> we're heading to this customer though. So, we'll see you here in a minute. Shortly after we dropped that off, got back in the zone and got us an offer. Yep, it ain't that great. We're literally going right back to where we just were, but it's it's just wings, which is chilies. Five bucks, three miles, so. I'll take it. We're getting some wings, sweet chilies in. But yeah, before that, they sent us a terrible one that was like eight bucks for basically 16 miles. So they are hitting us with some long hauls tonight. We use zigzaggers. Yeah, I ain't doing that. Yeah. No, some of them long haul, those, some of those were just unreasonable. Well, y'all, we just pulled up at the Chili's and we're fixing to run in here and grab this. Hey, we got an add on just now, eight bucks for 3.2 miles, also at Chili's. So we got two pickups now. All right, here we go in. We'll see y'all here in a minute. Here we go in, y'all, to the Chili's. <laughs> Well, y'all, we got those orders picked up. Pretty easy, pretty quick. Just had to wait on two sauce packets. Oh, that was pretty quick. Yeah, not too bad. We got the drink. Got the drink. He put the straw in the bag for me. And uh, we got about five minute drive to the customer. It's a hand it to me. Hey. Chili's, excellent customer service in there tonight. Dude was friendly. But yeah, this should be a $13 little stack here. Hopefully we can get it done pretty quick. We're rolling up on 7.30 right now, so this will put us at 24 bucks. That's not That's too bad. That's a good hour if we can get this delivered in the next 10 minutes. Well, y'all, we are headed towards the customer, so we'll see you here in a minute. Y'all, we got that first order dropped off pretty quick, and we en route to the next one. Yep, it was about seven minute drive, a little over three miles. This guy had conflicting delivery instructions. Leave it at the door and hand it to me. Which one do you do? Yeah, we texted them. They said leave it at the door. Yep. Why do people do that? Why put both? I don't understand. Keep you on your toes. But 
y'all we are getting close to the drop off so we'll see you here in a minute well y'all we got that one dropped off and like a squirrel with a nut as soon as i turn my back i hear doors open bags rattling they was eager to get their food yeah so that was a pretty good hour it was about an hour and 10 minutes 24 bucks that's pretty good and then they hit us with some terrible offers of course mm -hmm. we got an upside down one i don't think so and then another one that was a double mile situation going basically to edinburgh and back which you know no thanks do a little driving on a Friday, make a little bit of money. Ain't nothing bad about that. Working towards that beef welly. We gotta save up for this yep. and treat ourselves. Yep. We deserve it. <laughs> We're good little workers. Hey, good little workers. But yeah, we can't tell y'all our whole order yet, but, but we gotta get the welly. You gotta get the welly. I mean, I, it looks so good. I'm ex excited to try that duck sale. Oh baby. That mustard. I mean, that just sounds like a good dish. I'm with, I mean, I ain't gonna cook a Wellington. I'm excited for this little series. Just, I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Give us some goals, stuff to work towards. And some of it's not gonna be fun. Right. Like stuff for the house. I won't tell you all the details, but you know, that kind of stuff. Stuff that we need to buy. We figure we start off with a fun one. Yeah, something fun. Yeah. We'd like to make money to go on a trip. Yep. Where are we going? I don't know. We got some options. I'm feeling beachy. I can do beachy. I really want to go to Myrtle in May for a strongman competition. We went last year. Do we got any world's strongest man fans out there? We I guess did. just strongman in general. Yeah. We wanted the Stoltmans to win. The st I want Luke to get him one. Yeah. Luke needs to win. That's, that's just pretty cool to see. We went to... Awesome. The we last went, one, the Myrtle Beach, uh -huh. on sand, and they're lifting those big stones, and when they fall, you can feel it vibrate it from where you're standing. Crazy, crazy, insane. Like those are some big dudes. But apparently, that was like their biggest turnout ever, and they were so underprepared, you couldn't see anything. There were so many people. People bought every step ladder within like a 50 mile radius, yeah. so that they could stand above everyone and see what was happening. It was crazy. Yeah, well, old Nick Best was down there last year. He wasn't competing or nothing, but he was uh, filming a YouTube video. We watched it, and sure enough, there we were. He was Our backs are in it. Right behind us. We didn't, didn't even know. Didn't have a clue. We was trying to see what was going on. I think it was the uh, loading race. Maybe we'll get to go to Strongwind this year. I don't know, because next year is going to be in Cali, and that's a little bit harder to swing. Like, Myrtle's like 14 hours from us, I think. Yeah. So, that's not a bad drive. You get to see the mountains. We'll see. Should we go? Should we put more on the credit card? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't getting nothing here, man. We had a great first hour and then nothing. Well, a few terrible ones, but you know, not much going on right now. Yeah. The moon looks crazy, guys. It looks like a full moon, but I don't know if it is or not. Hard to tell. Well, y'all, we've been driving around a minute and uh, declining some orders, missing a good order somehow. Yeah, I didn't get a screenshot, but it was like a brief flash on the screen. Uber. It's like 2660 something for like eight miles. I was like, oh my God. And I went to screenshot, and it was just gone. Like a freaking phantom order. Okay. That was crazy. We got a Wingstop order. It wasn't that great. We declined it. Then they smacked it right back at us with another order that sweetened the pot a little. So. Fifteen bucks. We got two pickups at Wingstop, going to two different people. Okay, one customer is getting a thirty-piece crew pack, whatever that entails, and the other guy's getting a chicken sandwich combo, which sounds like there's a drink involved. I think the crew pack's got drinks too. I'm not sure. No. All right. So, see if your buddy's working. Oh god, I see a lot of people waiting in there. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh great. Well, well, we'll give it a few minutes. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But we're here, y'all. So, you know the deal. One guy walked in there, walked right back out. He goes, I'm glad you, you better be glad you got this order. The guy was in here waiting for almost two hours. He's waited the whole time. 
it. Well, y'all, we got that picked up after 20 minutes of waiting. Yeah, another freaking 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I guess they were extremely swamped in there before we got there, and people, were, you know, the orders were taking hours to get out. So I guess we caught it on the tail end of it, but still. Woo. Usually they're pretty good in there, ready to go, or almost ready to go. Well, we had about an eight minute drive to this customer, it's about four and a half miles, so we got to drink. Got to drink. Our spirits are dampened, or at least mine are. Yeah, I mean, we're still making money, it's just a little bit of a hiccup. It appears that it has started raining. Yeah, here's some sparkles. So, we'll see how that goes. Well, y'all, we's getting close to this drop off here. So we'll see you when we get her settled. this hope one again for 1604 going to wendy's nope nope but we did accept a taco bell order it was like six bucks for less than two miles so that's where we is yep. and we're getting some bean burritos and crunchy tacos Woo, oh, no, baby. Drink. no drinks no drinks so, here we go into taco bell haven't been here in a while excited to go in there so see y'all here in a minute wait see if there's anything new on the menu that we need to get okay i'll look <laughs> it sounds good it looks like an empanada up there mm. the chicken one but we'll see y'all here in a second Well, y'all, it was ready to go. So we're heading that way, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, that's what we needed after that freaking wing stop. Yeah. I'm getting used to waiting. But yeah, the customer is literally two minutes away, so we close. Oh, we close. We're getting close to the drop off, so we'll talk at y'all here in a second. Well, y'all, we got that dropped off. Not too bad, went quick and easy, quick drop off, quick pick up, or the other way around if you want. Pretty good. Yep, we got about five more minutes in this dash, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. They might give us a few words to decline yet. We need a snack. We need, Morale is low. We need a snack stat. <laughs> Bam! Pizza! We got us a pizza. That's from Marco's. Pretty good pizza. We need a snack. I got a headache. I'm not too pleased after the last little bit here. Yeah. Well, now we get pizza. Yeah, we get pizza. Get a big get one. Get you that biggest piece right there. I'm looking at it. This one? Yeah, that's the one you're getting. I know it's in our wedding vows. always give you the biggest piece of pizza. Yeah. Sometimes. I said sometimes. You said, you said mostly always, but... That's pretty much never. Um, hey! <laughs> <laughs> my pepperoni. What is it? That's my That's cheese. So hot. Look at that. It's burning my fingers. Got some jalapenos on there. Some. The ticket is to put the shaved parm on it. That makes it so good. Nice buttery, garlicky, parmigiani crust. Pepperonis and jalapenos. Those little cuppy pepperonis. It's just hot. It's burning my fingers. But here we go. It's good. If y'all ever near a Marco's, that's what we order. It's pretty good. Wait a minute, is it a little doughy? I don't think so. But that's a pretty good pizza. So I reckon we're gonna eat on this a little bit. It is a little doughy. Is it? I hate doughy pizza. Oh, 
the worst. Man, that stinks. At least there's not a hair in it, okay? <laughs> not yet. It's always something. Well, y'all, we ate a piece of pizza and uh it was okay yeah she said it's doughy i can't stand doughy pizza when i was a kid my mom sorry mom but she would undercook those de journos and it just ooh, made me sick. we were sitting there as soon as we wrapped it up put the pizza in the back we got us an order at taco bell yeah it's not great but it's hardly any miles four bucks for less than a mile so it's like we gotta do that Yep. And we got the text that his order's ready, so it's been sitting around a minute. But spicy potato soft tacos with a million fire sauce packets and a black bean chalupa supreme. We're going to vegetarian here. Oh no. <laughs> vegetarian. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, it says continue with pickup, so you probably have to take another picture. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, lately, it's been telling me to take pictures of receipts and stuff like that. Y'all seen any of that? We're going to head on in there and uh, pick her up. See you here in a bit. Well, we got that picked up, sitting right there. Had to take a picture of the receipt again. So that's crazy. I don't know what advantage that gives them, but I guess I to prove we picked up the right order. Two minute drive, so I mean, that's pretty quick for four bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll take those four dollar deals all day. We do have to hunt for an apartment. But apartment looks like second floor, but it's only one little bag, so. Not too bad. That ain't nice. Not even a Baja Blast or nothing. Not even a drink. He's gonna be parched. All right, well, we are heading that way, so we'll see y'all here in a minute. Well, y'all, we're done. We're ready to go on home the rest of this pizza and such. It was okay. We made money we didn't have. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was about three hours almost exactly. Plus, like, that Taco Bell was literally ten minutes. So, three hours and ten minutes basically for like 49 bucks. So, I was hoping we'd have a great mix. We had a great first hour, but then just that long wing stop one really put us back. But, we're about 50 bucks closer to getting that welly. That welly. And some other things. Some gambling. It wasn't too bad today. The wing stop really set the tone for the rest of the evening. But... Yeah, I know that put me in a bad mood. Yeah. Just like, not bad mood, but just like, I don't know. Blah. Just over it, you know. I'm sure y'all can relate. Anyhow. It was a fun little day. A little, little dash to make some money. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Absolutely. See y'all in the next one. Bye. -bye.